So hi, Jared. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Uh, we are here on uh, Audio Design Desk, right? Yes. And yes. you are going to... 2.0. 2.0, exactly. Yes. Um, and you're going to show us the new features of 2.0, right? Yes. As, uh, some of these might be uh, some refresher features, but you're going to notice a lot of great new ones mixed in throughout it. So one of the great new things, uh, if you've been using the Media Bridge already with the, that works with Final Cut, is we have now got the Media Bridge working with uh, Premiere as well as DaVinci. So for this uh, demo, I'm going to be showing you how it works in Premiere. So what we did is we cut together uh, a fight scene from the film everywhere, uh, everything down, all at once, and we uh, put it in Premiere. We have some initial temp audio here. We've got transitions. We actually have a really uh, bad dialogue file. We're going to get back to that in a second. And uh, we're ready to do the sound design. So we can go into Premiere. We can turn on our audio design desk extension up here. And then we can go into Audio Design Desk, where we can then turn that on in uh, Audio Design Desk. And we can uh, set some scrub levels, depending on your computer's uh, performance levels. And then you'll notice that I am actually, let me just get this over. I'm actually controlling the Premiere timeline within Audio Design Desk, as well as playing it here. So now that we've got that set up, we can easily import all of our timeline from Premiere into Audio Design Desk just by going to the drop down saying import timeline sequence and like that we have all of our sounds and that's uh, so much better than trying to export the Premiere timeline waiting like the 20 minutes or whatever for the whole video to come over and then getting it in. We we're just ready to go. So I was talking about that uh, bad dialogue, right? So if I play this. Stand down, sir. I mean, it's not just the poor acting. There's a whole lawnmower going on behind it as well. So we created this new isolator tool. And if I were to go into the media bridge, I could upload this sound. Uh, now, I don't have internet here, so uh, we're just going to pretend this happened. We upload the sound. I click noise reduction. We download it. And then what the isolator does is it'll send it back into a file that looks like this. And then we can unsolo that. We can split it up. And we can see that we now have just the lawnmower here, as well as just, down, sir. oh, let me get rid of that one, as and well down, as sir. just our clean dialogue. And now we can just delete that lawnmower, and we can unsolo the dialogue, and we are ready to go with our dialogue editing. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start adding some other sound effects to this. We have those whooshes, we have some, uh, uh, some hits, and for the other sound design elements, uh, we can easily go to our trigger system here, and uh, you'll notice a few uh, UI changes here if you've already been on 1.0. But uh, in 2.0, we have the, the new trigger system where we can then go to the point we want to rise, probably right here with the transition. We click rise, and we still have that. We can also move out here where the fight starts, and we can click a hit, and we have a hit now. We can go over here right where this guy's about to get sent flying through air, and we can add a rise as well as a transition there. And we can listen to this. Awesome. You know, that might actually be perfect for this scene, but if we didn't like it, we could select these, we could press Command R, and we have an entirely new composition. We could keep pressing as many times as we want. Or we could even go into our replace settings here. We could specify in genre uh, that this is an action scene, particularly a very intense action scene. Oh, I clicked it too many times. All right, so a per very intense action scene, and when we press Command R, we have an entirely new composition that's intense action sounds. And we could, again, I'm just pressing this until I see waveforms, visual waveforms I like. Maybe a little too intense, so again, we could always just uh, constantly cycle through new sounds after new sounds. You see that there are infinite variations and combinations we can create with Audio Design Desk. So now that we have those sound design elements, the next thing we want to go on to is we want to go to the Foley. And the Foley, if you've ever done it, it's really just more sound effects editing if you don't have your actual Foley studio. But what you're doing is you're probably going to like a custom library. You're grabbing like a stem of these face hit punches. You're converting it. Uh, you're chopping them up. And then you're deleting all these empty spaces. Then you got to find the... We can get rid of that. We can. We got to find the spot where someone gets punched. Then we got to drag it into place. And then sometimes the playhead moves, and you're like, "Oh, I lost my spot." Now I'm nudging it. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, 
we created this trigger system where we can now drag those individual uh, stems onto this uh, trigger here, the four trigger. It chops them up into individual elements. And now when I press the four key, I get one of those individual punches placed right there on my timeline. So uh, I've gone ahead and I've kind of preloaded a, a whole trigger preset of footsteps, uh, swooshes, guys grunting, uh, body fall on table here. And we could scrub through and every time I see that bag whip back and forth, I could press the swoosh sounds and we already have a significantly faster way of adding Foley than anything we've been doing in the past. But with Audio Design Desk, since we're all about saving time and getting rid of the tedium and the sound design process, we can actually perform and create all of this in real time just by pressing the number keys. Stand down, sir. Awesome. And just like that, we were able to create all of the Foley for this scene in real time right here in front of you. Now here's another new feature that we have with uh, 2.0 is this is our auto gain feature. So if we open it up, uh, open up our auto gain window, we can actually have Audio Design Desk rebalance all of our sounds based to their standard loss levels in any sort of production. So uh, generally your ambiences are very low and your Foley is a lot higher, music has its own spot, and it could just quickly balance out everything for you, getting your pre-mix set up. Uh, for me personally, the only thing I really didn't care for was that the squooshes were too loud. So if I just wanted to do that one individual sound effect, I can go to my select dropdown, and with the content aware timeline that understands the difference between all of these sounds, I can simply select swoosh, press shift down three times, and now all my swooshes in the project are down six decibels. I can, uh, let's also bring the punches down. I think those were clipping a little bit. So I can just say punch body, and we'll bring those down to like negative four, and we can listen to this. And that mix already sounds much cleaner than what we had. So now the last thing we want to tie it all together is we want to add some music. Let's go to about here. I think the music would be good starting here, and we can just press the Z key. I have music now. And I can press Command R in real time to sample tons of different music cues on the fly. Uh, and we could actually go back into our replace settings, and we could see that since I chose earlier action and intense, that's why we're getting a lot of these like uh, heavy rock songs that are coming in for these action scenes. But if we're working uh, with a major motion picture like this, we want to be creating an original score. So I'm actually going to add the keyword cinematic. I might have just deselected it. OK. So we added the keyword cinematic. We're going to delete this cue. And right here when the music starts, we're going to go back into the triggers. And we're going to open up our trigger pad, go to the music. We have beat, bass, chord, line, lead. Let's just start with the beat and we'll play this. Okay, I buy that, that's a good start. Let's add some percussion over it. Okay, this, is, this seems like it could be pretty fun in this scene, but I'm noticing it's a little slow. So what we have is this tempo stretch button. When I turn it on, any region that has any sort of BPM metadata attached to it is going to stretch to match my global BPM, which I currently have set at 120. Driving. Now we have this great percussion section. We can probably just go back. Let's add a bass to it. See what we get. Okay. I like where that's going. Maybe let's see if we uh, add a sound design element, one of our rhythmic sound design elements. Uh, we can replace that. Let's see what we get. Oh, I like that. A little bit of a stutter in the background. That's coming together really well as a score. So now. We could just select uh, the ends of these. We could trim them to match right with this rise. That's where I want the music to cut out. We can go back to the beginning. I'll unmute this, and we'll play. Stand down, sir. All right. So now we are ready to send this out to either our favorite NLE or DAW to mix and master. We can just add that out point. 
we have this new export button up here. Uh, it's much easier to find than in 1.0. Uh, we could say we're going to send this to Pro Tools. And there's a few other cool things about sending it to Pro Tools. If you aren't already using this feature, open after export. Not only will Audio Design Desk, uh, we'll say, sure, one. And we'll put that on the desktop. Everything lives on the desktop for creatives, right? So, <laughs> so not only will this export the Audio Design Desk timeline, this will go through the process of actually opening Pro Tools for you and starting the import process. That way, uh, we, I know we, we only saved like a couple clicks, maybe a total minute of, worth of time, but that's what we're here to do. We're here to cut out as much time as possible so we can get these projects as clean and as sophisticated and advanced as possible before we send it to anyone. So um, is uh, 2.0 available now? So this is the unveiling of 2.0. I We unveiled it like three hours ago. Uh, so you're, you're fresh on this. <laughs> Uh, it is not currently available, but I would say it's go it's going to be very soon. Essentially, we're also uh, we're also beta testing it as we speak. <laughs> so we're as the show is going on, we are cleaning it up. So uh, we could then say, okay, all of our sounds now just imported into Pro Tools, and let me zoom out a little bit for you here. Great, and we can see all of these sounds came over, and they're in their exact spots. They're ready to play. But there's one other really la cool last feature I want to show you. Something else we kind of uh, figured out is that with our ability to sync to DAWs via MTC, as well as our new bridge that can connect to Premiere, if we start playback in Audio Design Desk. Stand down, sir. <laughs> Okay, Pro Tools caught up. We are actually syncing Pro Tools to Premiere as Audio Design Desk is the new bridge between the worlds. Again, uh, we, we've always said we were the bridge between video and audio editors, and this is the new feature and proof of it. So we are, uh, we're very excited to get 2.0 out here. This is just honestly a quick overview of a lot of the features. There's so many other cool new things that are coming. Uh, you guys are going to love it. Um, so. Do we have like a, a kind of a price or point uh, uh, where oh. we're going to aim for, oh, or is sure. there like a uh, feature for so, users uh, already? So if you're getting like a perpetual version of Audio Design Desk, uh, it not, it's not only just the software, it's our, our whole library as well, which uh, I don't know. I think, it, I think we say it's like 70,000 sounds, but we're adding new sounds every week. That's uh, something we make a promise to everyone with. Uh, so it's $600 for all of it. That's perpetual model again. Uh, if you want to do a subscription route, some people prefer to go that way. It's $30 a month. Those are for, for those are for the professional levels. Uh, so that means all of this is royalty free as well. So you could use all of our sounds on in this actual movie and release it in theaters, and those are yours to use as you want. You could use our sounds uh, and mix them and re-export them back to new marketplaces. And in fact. That's a good transition to one of our other big features that's coming uh, with this is uh, the opening of Maker AI, which we kind of have a banner here. And you see down here we have a marketplace. It's kind of covered up. <laughs> but with the new marketplace, if you were to create anything uh, in Audio Design Desk, maybe you bring in some of your own loops and you reorganize them into a new score as such, like we did here, you can then bound, you'll be able to export those directly to the marketplace where you can sell them to other users that they can download in their software or just any other video editor can go onto the soft uh, onto the website uh, such as like it'll look like epidemic or something like that where you can just download those uh, sounds and then use them in your own projects from there brilliant so yeah Jared yeah. thank you very much you're welcome